Today, we'll be looking at keep moving forward. Let's get into the Word of God. Today, we'll be looking at Philippians 3, verses 13 and verses 14. It says, It is written, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehend, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward, reaching forth, I'm sorry, unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Today, I'm talking about keep moving forward. I keep hearing someone say, let's go back. Let's go back into Egypt. Let's go back. As today marks the ending of Passover, you know, the children of Israel leaving Egypt and going going towards the promised land. I keep hearing someone say, let's go, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to Egypt. Let's go back to what was familiar. So today I'm saying to someone, do not go go back i'm saying to someone keep moving forward keep moving forward life life is not easy i tell my children this all the time life is not easy and life is not fair the only person that is fair is god so i'm going to say to someone here i keep hearing let's go back let's go back to what we are familiar with let's go back let's go back to egypt let's go back to that man let's go back to that woman because when we were with them things was easy and now we left things are hard but i say to you today keep moving forward like paul said brethren i count not myself to have apprehend but this one thing i do forgetting those things that are behind forget forget your past forget what happened forget forget because i keep hearing someone say let's go back let's go back to egypt let's go back to what we were familiar with i remember the good I remember the food that we eat. I remember. But I'm saying to you today, let's don't go back. Don't look back. Let's remember this scripture, Philippians 3, verses 4, 14, and verses 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehend, but this thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. Let's forget those things that happened in the past. Don't go back. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. It doesn't matter how hard or how tough the road gets, how hard or tough your journey may get. I'm saying this to myself too because sometimes I want to go back. I want to go back to what is familiar with me. But God is even saying to me in this time and this season, go forward. Go forward. Move forward. God is with you. God said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Behold, I'm with you even until the end of the world. God is saying to the people of God, as we um coming to the end of Passover, God is saying, even now with the coronavirus, things are hard. Many people have lost their jobs. Things are not going to go back to normal. Even now, God is saying to the people of God, don't go back. Go forward. There's nothing to go back to either. Go forward. Move forward, brethren. Keep moving forward. I say this to you today. It doesn't matter what comes, what storms may come, what trouble may arose. I'm saying to the people of God today, today, April the 16th, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehend, but this one thing I do, But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. We're reaching forward. We're pressing forward. We're moving towards the mark of the price of the high calling in Christ Jesus. We're moving forward.
So now we're going to go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you today, God. And we're thanking you, God, for strengthening us on life's journey, God. We're thanking you, God, to giving us the unction and the function to move forward, not to go back, not to go back into Egypt, not go back into bondage, God, not go back to the people that held us in bondage, God, the pharaohs of our lives, the taskmasters of our lives, God. We thank you, God, for bringing deliverance today, today, today. April the 16th, 2020, God. Oh, Lord God, we thank you, God, for for reminding us in your word, God, that we have to press forward in the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Lord God, we're pressing our way forward, God. We're pressing, we're pressing, we're pressing today, God. Not yesterday, but today we're pressing forward, God. And we ask you, God, to strengthen us on life's journey, God. Strengthen us, God. Help us, God, to look forward and not to look behind, not to look are the things then that we've lost, but the things then that we are about to gain, God. As Paul said, we're going to press forward, God. We're going to keep moving forward, God. Lord God, we just want to thank you today. We want to thank you today, God, for waking us up. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you, God, for covering us under your blood, God. And as we come to the end of Passover, God, we thank you, God. That we are going to keep moving forward, God. This one thing I do, we're going to press forward with a mark of the high calling, which is found in Christ Jesus. We're going to press forward in God. We're going to press forward in Jesus. And we're going to press forward in the Holy Spirit. And no matter what comes our way, we're going to keep moving forward. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen.